Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new review. For today we have another mini PC called the Beelink AP42. And what's awesome about this mini PC is the fact that it's got the Intel Pentium N4200 and it doesn't have a fan inside, so it's very very quiet. Price wise this costs around $180 at the time of this video, but it's usually somewhere around $200. For other specs we have 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and the good thing about this mini PC is the fact you can actually install an additional SSD if you need more storage. Of course you're gonna have to take apart the mini PC if you wanna do that but it is very very simple to do so and anybody really can do that. So all you have to do is remove those uh, screws at the bottom so you have to remove those uh, rubber feet at the bottom of the mini PC then remove those four screws and then you have another three and um, then you can just install that uh, SSD that uh, you probably got for this mini PC so very simple to do so. Let's start with a very quick unboxing. So the Beelink AP42 comes in a very good looking box. On the front of the box we basically see the brand name. On one side we see a picture of the mini PC itself. On one side we see what's in the box and on the back we see the specifications. Inside you're gonna find the mini PC itself. You're also gonna find two HDMI cables. So one of them is very very short and the other one it's a bit longer. There is also a metallic mount so you can basically mount the mini PC behind your TV or uh, behind your monitor depending on your setup. You'll also find the user manual. The user manual doesn't really have that much information and there is also a power adapter. The Beelink AP42 looks a lot like the Voyo View 1. This is basically another mini PC that has the exact same Intel N4200 CPU. And I did review that uh, mini PC maybe two months ago. So yeah, it looks very much like that one. Because this is made out of metal, it will get a bit warm uh, whenever you're using it. And keep in mind that there is no fan inside this, so it does uh, tend to get a bit hot. But uh, I've been using it for four days now and it never shut down because it got too hot. On the left hand side you're gonna find a slot for an SD card and two USB 3 ports. On the back we have the power button, we also have the port for the power adapter, another USB port and this is yet another USB 3 port. We have an HDMI out uh, port, the network adapter, port a 3.5mm audio jack and a reset button. And lastly on the other side we have an external Wi-Fi antenna and that's a great addition for this mini PC because on the Voyo View 1 we don't actually get a Wi-Fi antenna. I've also checked the download speeds over a wired connection and over Wi-Fi, so over the 2.4 and the 5 GHz Wi-Fi bands and the speeds that I got are really really good. For the time that I've used this I haven't had any issues with the device disconnecting from the network, so either the 2.4 or the 5 GHz Wi-Fi bands. And on top of that we even have Bluetooth, so you could basically connect some headphones or a gaming controller to play some games with this device. I was a bit disappointed about the fact that we can't upgrade the RAM in this device because on the Voyo V1 at least we can upgrade the RAM. However with this one we actually gain uh, the dual band Wi-Fi and this is about 50 bucks cheaper than that Voyo V1 and you're gonna see that this one performs really really well even with that uh, 4 gigs of RAM that we have. Now that you've seen how this looks I'm gonna start recording the screen, we'll do a couple of benchmark tests, I'm gonna show you the speeds for the internal storage, we'll play a couple of video files, maybe a game, uh, some YouTube videos and so on. And I'm telling you, you're gonna be surprised by the performance of this little thing. With the Beelink AP42 we get a full copy of Windows 10, so if you've seen Windows 10 on any other device this looks just like that. If we go to settings here and uh, basically Windows update, we can check whatever updates we have and I did get a whole bunch of updates um, earlier today. So this is an activated uh, Windows copy and it does seem to work uh, without any issues. If I click back here and I go to system and storage here, for example, we can see that we have um, about 38 gigs um, available out of that uh, 64 that comes with this device. But keep in mind that you can always install like an uh, SD card to expand the uh, internal storage. And if I click on about here we can see the Windows uh, edition, so Windows 10 Home. We can also see the CPU and the 4 gigs of RAM. For our first benchmark test we get a result of 831 and this score is very very close to the score that I got on the Voyo V1. And if we click on Home here, so let's press OK and click on Home here. We can check all the components inside the mini PC. So this is the graphics card. We also have some type of Samsung storage. This is the motherboard uh, right here. And the RAM, uh, it's this one here. So we have four gigs of RAM. And lastly, the CPU. So we have the Intel Pentium uh, N4200. 
For our second benchmark test on the Geekbench 4, we get a multi-core score of 2678 and a single-core score of 1309. Down here we can see the operating system, so the Windows 10, this is the model, so the billing AP42, and the CPU, which is the Intel Pentium N4200. And I've also checked the speeds for the internal storage, and these are the results that I got. If you plan on watching YouTube videos in 4K, you can actually do so on this mini PC. So this video is set at 4K, um, at this time I'm gonna press play. And we'll maximize this on the screen so you can see this better. As you can probably tell, it does do very, very smooth. So most videos you're gonna be able to watch in 4K or 2K or whatever. So for a mini PC, I think this works really, really well for YouTube. Kodi also works very good on this uh, mini PC, so here at settings, system information, we can see some basic information about this, so we only have about 2.3 gigs of RAM uh, available, this time for storage we have about 37 gigs, for uh, the resolution it's basically 1080p, and here we can see the speed for the CPU at this uh, particular time. As for uh, add-ons, uh, of course most add-ons work uh, really good, but again, uh, Kodi works pretty good on any device, so for example, let's click on this one and it starts right away and you can probably tell it does seem to work um, extremely good. So if you're planning to use this uh, to watch some streams on Kodi, it will definitely work well for that. This will also do really good for watching videos and movies. So I have my um, USB stick plugged in and this is my 4K file at 59 frames per second. So I'm just going to open this with Kodi. It does work a bit better with Kodi versus the Windows Media Player. And as you can probably tell, it does go extremely smooth. And uh, I wasn't actually expecting that this would do this good uh, on this 4K file. So very, very good uh, for this file. And if I click on uh, videos here, for example, and we'll go to files, we'll uh, go to my USB stick. I can show you other files that I have here, so this is a 1080p file, this one also does uh, extremely well without any issues. So we'll stop this one, we'll move to another one, so go up. This is another 4K file, so we'll try this one as well. So uh, as you can probably see, it does do extremely, extremely well, so I'm just gonna skip forward a bit. And uh, once again, it does do really, really good. So we'll stop that file, we'll move to a 720p one, and this one also does uh, very good. So we'll stop this one, we'll move to another one. Let's try this one for example. So let's start from the beginning. And as you can probably tell, this one also does uh, extremely good as well. So most files that you're gonna try, most video files will do extremely well on this mini PC. For other tasks like watching pictures, for example, or videos or anything like that, so let me open my USB stick here. So I have my USB stick right here. So opening pictures and looking at pictures, uh, the pictures do open as soon as you click on the arrow. So as fast as you can probably move uh, your finger on those arrows, that's how fast the pictures will actually change. So quite decent for a mini PC. And of course you can even game on this mini PC and uh, I'm gonna show you that it does work extremely well, better than I was actually expecting. So you can basically do anything with this uh, mini PC. I don't know how good it would be for uh, bigger games because I don't have any bigger games uh, downloaded or anything like that. But for games like Modern Combat 5 or basically all the games that um, you're gonna be able to find uh, in the... Windows Store there, I think it will do quite well. Strike to the monarch. Target eliminated. Using the browser, as you'd probably expect, it does uh, do extremely good. So you can scroll up, scroll down without any issues. You can open uh, new articles uh, and it loads as fast as your um, internet connection is. And multitasking also works. So for example, I have a whole bunch of stuff open um, in the background here. And here you can see that it's uh, currently snowing. I even have a game running in the background and this is uh, the CPU's usage at this time. So we can even check uh, the RAM and uh, so on. So everything that's happening at this particular time.
And it's time to conclude this video. So I have to say that I'm very happy with the Billing AP42. Everything that I tried on it works extremely, extremely well. I'm super happy about the speeds that I got over Wi-Fi, mostly the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. And I'm very happy to see that they actually have a Wi-Fi antenna because, for example, my Voyo V1 doesn't actually have Wi-Fi. And that kind of sucks. Again, this one has uh, other disadvantages compared to that Voyo V1, but um, you gain some, you lose some. But overall, this is an excellent, excellent mini PC, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be better than a lot of older PCs that um, a lot of people actually still have at home. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, um, don't forget to press that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.